Well, you probably knew it was coming. But today is finally the day we get back to New England and hunt Bobcats with the Model 1894. We started using the 44 revolver probably about a month ago and really kind of found out it's one of the best options for Bobcats. And what do you know, EW releases the same caliber in a rifle and just gives us more range for it. So I can't wait to do this. Hopefully this is the missing piece we needed to get that diamond Bobcat, but I think it should be a good time no matter what. And it looks like our first Bobcat of the hunt is going to be a level 6, 20 to 24 estimate. And now with the rifle, we still have more range, but the one thing that was so useful even with the revolver, they don't run that fast. So we can really take our time, get a good shot lined up, and no surprise, absolutely dropped it in his tracks. So I think 24 point something is gold for them, so there's a chance he makes it. But we're just kind of making our way up along the outskirts of these mountains, which is really the primary place that we hunt for bobcats. So nice to just get a little bonus one as we move up through. That is a gold, by the way. Hit just about everything from the hip bone all the way up to the opposite shoulder blade. Just absurd. And gold is 23.78, so made it by a bit. And hopefully it's only up from here. And it's that point in the video, we have a max weight bobcat track. So... Hopefully this is going to be the one. Rest zone ended, I think, a while ago. So this may take some time to figure out, but at least we know there's one around here. Next to got tracks maybe go multiple directions. There he is, and he is a mythical, unfortunately. So not going to be it just yet. Up to 27 on the score estimate. Oh, and just when we took that shot, we lost breath. Might cost us a gold there. We're going to be able to drop him, but what I think happened is we probably hit him actually through the top of the skull. Not that we would have taken that shot on a level 9, but at least that wasn't what happened there. Another male bobcat track here. Where are we? We're actually just getting up to the area that I like to hunt, so I guess that explains the additional tracks. And the question is, did we avoid the skull shot? We did, 26.97, so not terrible. But actually, we hit just a little further back than I thought. So the bullet wasn't able to end up striking the skull. Second shot, same deal. Pelvis all the way up, exited around the front shoulder. Not too bad. Now, we have a little bit of harvest screen lag again, and of course, in our last hunt here in Call of the Wild, over on Revan Coast, we had a little bit of something similar with our melanistic round bears, so that's a little worrisome, but most of you guys are probably well aware there are not very many New England multiplayer servers hosted, so if we can stay connected, we're going to try to stay here. I just don't love the looks of that. And literally right away, there's another one. So back to tracking we go, just the way it goes here on New England, but one of these eventually has to lead to a level nine. They all have the same weight estimate. We just need to hit the right track. Maybe this is it. That's going to be him. Another mythical and another good estimate, 25 to 27. Now, again, our heart rate situation isn't ideal, so we're going to try to take this slowly enough to squeeze that shot in there should be good. And just a little bit shy for, I don't know, the 50th time we have tracked a lot of 35 to 45 kg Bobcats. But 19 minutes in, two max estimate ones already? Can't be a terrible deal. Eh, that might be a terrible deal though. And by the way, we didn't get a lung shot. We may not get to claim it and find out what actually occurred there. However, maybe somebody joining was the reason for that. I'd like to actually know where the bullet hit just for that. And so here we go again, new server, same estimate. <laughs> Literally, not only the same weight estimate, the same score estimate, only difference is that this is the gray variant instead of the brown variant that we shot and we're unable to claim. So hopefully things will be a little bit better here. And I do think too, speaking of better, that shot found is marked into the vitals. I can see the vital blood from here. So definitely going to get the gold out of this guy curious what he's going to be with that 25 to 27 estimate he's actually pretty low end 26.21 all the way through to the neck i mean no chance for that one but we're essentially doing the exact same thing just moving through this area up here and different server same basic result that is a massive estimate 26 to 29 on that one we just had another max weight track and then we got the fleeing call from over there and luckily able to get eyes on him because he's kind of running in a weird direction. 
slow moving around so try to lead him by enough and we're off by a bit i think in both cases guess we need to factor in that slow moving animal as well too far forward then interestingly enough too far back the second time it was a 27.18 so about 0.5 shy of being a diamond but four mythicals in interestingly enough 37 minutes it was almost 19 minutes exactly again to our second one but I like the direction we're going in. Like I said, one of these max system tracks will lead to a level 9. Well, this is a bit of a bummer, but admittedly, I didn't actually think we'd find this rabbit. The time has been changed in this server like three times in the last 15 minutes. And we had this track, lost it when the time got reset, and then stumbled into it again. It is a good one. About 0.15 shy diamond, level 2 cottontail diamonds are a thing. So, not only bobcats that we're tracking across New England, it is other things as well. We're kind of moving across the northern part of the map right now because we did get through here a lot. And again, with the time being reset multiple times here, it can kind of get things on their feet, transitioning from one zone to another. So, maybe we can stumble into tracks that wouldn't otherwise be there and make the most of it. Now, that is a pretty decent looking moose, and I think a good opportunity as he faces us for the Model 1894, we're trying something a little bit different. I was kind of looking at the map, and you know, we have talked about this literally every single New England video. We end up getting three, four max estimate bobcats early on, and then things kind of dry up. So there's enough kind of mountainous area down here. And again, our one legendary bobcat that was a troll in early access was in this area. So I kind of just want to see if there are bobcats in these mountains as well. I do believe the northern area is better, at least in terms of numbers. But we're going to give this spot a shot. And in the meantime, what I imagine is a 260 plus moose. 258, so right in that area, heart and liver. Split the lungs, did not touch either one of them. Not a half bad deal. So we're just going to kind of move through here. It is moose drink time, so we'll probably see plenty of them. And we'll see what kind of tracks we pick up. Look at that. That is a leucistic, I believe. Hen turkey. Now the question is, can- Oh, we did hit it. Nice. That could save us a lot of time. I'll tell you a, a little mini story from this hunt that has not been in the video at all. I spent at least 30 minutes tracking a max estimate quail track only because we weren't finding much for bobcats. And, you know, when it's something that can just fly through these mountains like this, if they don't fly back towards you, it can be really, really tough. So, I don't think we've ever killed one of these. I remember finding one on Mississippi and disconnecting, which, speaking of that... Wait, did we get the wrong one? Maybe... I thought we got the one that we were... Oh, did we get them both? I am not sure. Either way, we'll figure this out. But the server that we were going through those southern mountains... We actually failed to synchronize there, ended up in this one, and at least spotted a rare turkey. I want to say we got one, but now I'm a little concerned. So there's a dead one there. That is very much looking common. So definitely not the one we wanted. Hit that one in the wing. And then this trail. Do we have the disturbed veg on that? Unknown. So maybe this was the one? She is laying right down there. That's looking a little bit more like it. So, somehow killed two turkeys there. But these are incredible. I love the looks of these things. Gonna attack this real quick. I don't think there is a multi-mount for female eastern turkeys. Obviously the one for the Merriam turkey exists. Pretty cool though. Silver at 3.38. Hit her in the wing as well. 127 meters. Flying away there. And again, like I said, that could be... Such a time saver. Pretty darn cool. So since we've gotten into this new server, really no luck at all with Bobcats. I don't think we've had a single track just yet. And we're kind of just getting up into these northern mountains. We will take that though any day. I love to look at Leucistic Easterns. And going from one thing to another here, we just hit the deck because we've alarmed a level 4 moose. But a 273 minimum estimate. Diamond is 274.99. So he's got a real shot as a level 4. Now, what Moose will do while alert is actually kind of like run around a little bit, almost as if they're trying to figure out where the sound they heard is coming from. So he's finally kind of coming back down. He's at attentive there. Just want to be able to see what we're doing a little bit better. So either if he stops to 
Oh, he's gonna rest there. This could be interesting. I mean, we can get that long shot. So I think we're best off doing that. Should punch through to double lung with the 44. Still gonna run a decent distance, but that is certainly gonna bring him down and we'll see, that rack can make it. Ended up dropping not terribly far from where we last saw him. I don't know, I mean, it doesn't look that much bigger than the one that we got earlier. We'll see, the estimate gives him a real shot at it. 273.34, he's right at the bottom end. Can't say I'm extremely surprised. Double lung right at the front of the lungs there. And unfortunately, no bonus diamond moose, but definitely would be a lot more of a heartbreaker if we didn't just kill our first leucistic eastern turkey. I think our first rare eastern of any kind, now that I think of that, but wouldn't have minded a little uh, extra bonus trophy on this hunt. Well, this will in all likelihood be the last max estimate bobcat of the hunt and very likely the last kill of the hunt. So we'll see if this guy ends up being it. Hopefully we can find it. But I think this is the fifth time we've seen that 35 to 45 kg estimate. So can't complain about that. Already had the leucistic hen in this server. So maybe this is just going to be the lucky one. Well, <laughs> didn't expect to come up over the hill and find that, but in a weird way, for one, because we messed up the shot. Kind of glad that's not a level 9. I always... This has happened with Lynx a couple of times. I always hate when we find a potential diamond and it's just stuck. First shot, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm thinking that's just showing incorrectly because there's no way the bullet just stopped dead there. Second shot was neck. 26.1, our first level 7 of the 5 max estimate cats we saw today. And unfortunately... No level 9s yet again, but at least we did get a pretty cool rare that we have never had before. And I think because of that, we'll take it back to the second trophy lodge. And what I think we'll do is take down an old light brown Merriam turkey. This was probably not rare, but much less common than they are now when we shot it actually over three years ago. But I think this looks way cooler and is far more rare. Actually, not a bad pose there. Looking pretty darn good. I think they just look incredible. And actually, the way that that had worked out, there was a fleeing call from a gobbler right as we spotted it. So I thought it was going to be, you know, a male. But we will take this. Hopefully one day we can get a leucistic gobbler as well. But definitely not bad as we continue to look for a diamond bobcat and continue to struggle to find one. At least getting something in the process makes it a little bit easier to keep going back time after time. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.